Hey guys, the guy level here, and today we're gonna be talking about how to blow up on Twitch as a creative streamer. Now, if you live stream on Twitch and all you do is play video games, uh, this video is not for you, but I do have a video on the subject matter. Uh, I'll probably put a little eye uh, top right of your screen, click on it right now to go to it. But if you don't play video games and instead what you do is, is create on Twitch, that means you can be a cosplayer, you can create um, art, uh, paintings, drawings, anything. This will apply to you. So I'm trying to make it kind of a series of different uh, marketing strategies to blow up on Twitch. But honestly, those are advices that will help you blow up on the internet in general. <laughs> okay, so as a creative streamer, you have a huge advantage compared to uh, video game streamers because you are already producing what we call shareable content. That means it's content that anyone can appreciate, but mostly it's content that people will want to share with others. Now, I'm not gonna try to tell you what type of content exactly you need to be producing, but I will tell you what is really working. What's the easiest thing to do to blow up? By blow up, I do mean get very famous and, and make a living. <laughs> and that would be fan art. Basically, you don't have to only produce fan art to become popular, but you can use fan art as a marketing strategy for you to become more popular. And then when you have the following, you can expose them to your original content. Anything about business, anything about marketing is always telling you about niche. If you are producing original content, then you created your own niche. And if there's no one in that niche, there's literally no one to sell it to. And it could take years, decades to build up this niche for it to become a thing. Meanwhile, you could appeal, for example, to a particular niche, let's say Star Wars fans, and produce a couple of Star Wars related content, and then you already have a niche, you already have millions of people that actually want to consume this content. So it's easy for you to bring them to your to whatever you're selling. In this case, I'd say a live stream. So let's start from the beginning. You are a creative streamer. You do uh, arts and crafts or, or whatever on Twitch. And those are projects that you can begin and end on Twitch. That means you have video content from the beginning of your projects till the end of your project. Now, this whole strategy is based around other social media to bring people to your live stream. So what you're going to want to do is, first of all, activate vods on twitch okay basically to to save every single one of your broadcast i have a video on that i'll put it up there and then you want to download them download them put them in any editing software you can and make a time lapse basically every single project you're working on you need to have a project you need to have a time lapse of this project from beginning till the end and then what you can do is actually share them on other social media how many times have you seen videos of little time lapses on facebook Facebook. People love sharing that stuff because especially if it has to do with something um, they're a fan of. Let's say if you made a bunch of uh, Marvel related uh, time lapse drawings or paintings around the time that Avenger Infinity War came out, then you would get a lot of people, a lot of traffic. Okay, so let me break it down social media by social media okay facebook twitter instagram you're gonna manage them pretty much the same way you need short time lapse videos with a short description pointing to your uh live stream on instagram of course you will need a lot of posts and a lot of stories so every time you're preparing stuff every time you're about to go live uh every time you get new gear or whatever you need to post all of that on instagram all the time lots of pictures lots of stories and use hashtags lots of hashtags and if you're doing fan art use hashtags from the specific thing you're, you're drawing or painting or whatever now on twitter you want to do that but a little bit less you need to give more quality content on twitter but also you need to share your thoughts you need twitter is all about personality people don't only follow well like depends on the <laughs> twitter account i'd say but if you want to be like a, a internet celebrity in a way you need to share your thoughts you need to be uh, retweeting stuff basically when you scroll down your feed you don't want to only have hey guys i'm going live hey guys i'm going live <laughs> you don't want that okay when you're sharing your time lapse videos Remember, keep it as short as possible. If they can be 30 seconds, that's perfect. On Twitter, you want to use, I'd say five hashtags max. You don't want to fill your thing with hashtag because it looks like spam and people really don't enjoy spam accounts on Twitter. Now on YouTube, if you actually want to make a little bit of revenue, 
next to YouTube, you will have to do a little bit of work. What you can do is pre-record an intro or outro and then actually record an intro or outro for every single video. Hey guys, my name is Verona and what you're about to see is from my live stream, twitch.tv slash, and then boom, the video starts, little bit of music, it plays for 30 seconds to two minutes. And then at the end, what you can do is actually record a message saying, oh, I hope you guys like my drawing of Marvel character or DC character or whatever, Star Wars. And uh, don't forget to click like, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to, I always, and then you can talk about your your schedule on Twitch or, or just your Twitch, you just plug your stuff. And then you do that for every single time you have a video that you can put out. So. On Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, those are uh, just a small format with a short description with your link. On YouTube, you actually need a little bit of personality. You can just post uh, your stuff like that. I, n I cannot talk about every single details about the algorithms of every single social media, unfortunately, because that would take me like two or three hours. But um, I advise you to go on YouTube and actually learn about it. That's how I know everything. Just keep in mind that Facebook loves videos, uh, Twitter, your five hashtags, but all, mostly sharing stuff uh, that are relevant, that are in the news and, and, and your thoughts in general. Instagram using a ton of hashtags. You have 30 hashtags per post. You have 10 hashtags per story. You need to hide them so it doesn't look all, all messy. And yes, on, on Facebook, I forgot to say that, but on Facebook, you need to create your own page, okay? You need to create your own own page and then you can share uh, stuff with the world uh, if you have something that is very important that you know is gonna work a lot that is very shareable you know people will see that and be like oh my god I have a friend who loves spider-man let me share it with him what you can do is actually pay to boost your post uh, they boosting your post doesn't really really work but if you're sure that you have a very very shareable content it's amazing to do that you can get like 10k views even if you have 20 followers on your page of course if what you enjoy doing the most is twitch live streaming on twitch always plug your link in all of those social medias and bring all the people to your twitch but if you have a lot of personality uh, on youtube you're gonna get followers and uh, people who don't have time to watch hours upon hours of twitch streams then you will actually build a subscriber base on youtube and then you will get monetized you will get partnered and you will start making income from your videos on YouTube. Uh, for Instagram, at a certain point, if you reach a huge amount of followers, you will not only get featured on a bunch of Instagram pages, you can contact them to, uh, to actually feature you. Uh, art pages, people that just retweet other people's stuff um, and bring traffic to your Instagram page. But also brands will contact you at some point. They will be like, hey, uh, you know what? We have this brand and blah, blah, blah. Uh, hopefully it's a brand that has to do with what you do. I don't know, a brand of, of brushes or, or paint or eva foam for cosplayers and uh they will offer you money to actually post and, and and advertise their products so that's a lot of money that's a lot of popularity and that's one way to actually make a living out of your live stream and then you'll be at the point where you'll wonder if youtube or, or twitch like which one is the most valuable and which one you want to focus on more but that's in the future okay that's in the future anyways thank you so much for listening to me i hope you guys enjoyed that video and if you're a creative artist and this was useful uh type it in the comment section below if you have any other their ideas about other marketing strategies for streamers please also leave them in the comment section below i really like when people share their experience or they they, they share their knowledge uh, with each other that's that's what i'm trying to do here i'm trying to share things that i know uh with you guys and i also would like you guys to share what you know with me and with each other <laughs> but if you want to talk to me you can shoot me a message at level underscore photo on twitter uh also you can follow my twitch channel that is twitch.tv slash get level if you're looking for overlays to make your streams look dope what you can do is go to gumroad.com slash get level i have a bunch of packs there and some of them are even free and that's it for me thank you guys so much for watching get level out